and the health of Mother Earth Foundation is proffering alternative ways to protect the Nigerian ecosystem. The foundation made the call during the maiden edition of the Nigerian Social Ecological Alternative Convergent in Abuja on Thursday. The program, according to the Executive Director of Health of Mother Earth Foundation, Nemo Basi, is aimed at enlightening Nigerians on the advantages of adopting earth-friendly ways of restoring the earth, which has experienced years of environmental degradation through oil exploration activities, hydrocarbon pollution, desertification, and others. He says that if we fail to protect our ecosystem, not only will human life be negatively affected, food production will also suffer as well. You know, for a country like Nigeria, if we decide to restore the environment, it will create enough jobs and enough wealth. Because there are a whole lot of jobs. Think of Ogoni. Ogoni clean up. For the first five years, one billion dollars was earmarked. Now, Bayesa has said to, rest, to clean up uh, Bayesa within seven years with one billion dollars per year. That is a lot of investment. It will occupy our youths, it will create jobs, and it will create wealth in a clean way that would also change our mindsets that we just have to keep on destroying things. You know, working with nature also means investing in agriculture in a natural way. Investing in developing um, extension officers who will go to communities and help our local farmers to grow crops in ways that are not harmful, not using artificial fertilizers. Today we are still celebrating chemical fertilizers. It's even become a political tool. Say so we are going to give you fertilizer. It is destroying our soils. This, unless you keep, even if you keep on using fertilizer, the productivity of the land keeps on reducing every year. In his keynote address, Professor Zatis Gundu, while presenting his paper on the dynamics of climate change and its impact on migration and conflict, was emphatic about what we do with the earth around us to make it useful and sustainable. Others say it's about time Nigeria changed its approach to ways to protect the Nigerian ecosystem. Where we have to understand that what we do in one part of the earth affects other people living in some other part of the earth. We have to understand this very clearly so that we begin to be very responsible in what we are doing. Unfortunately, as human beings, we are not wired to see the long term. Most human beings are wired to see what is happening in front of them at the point it's happening and they are noticing it. The, the, the challenges are real, like I said here today, um, you all feel it. I mean, you, 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 like I said, we, we're familiar with the, the issues that are common when we discuss climate change. Temperatures have changed, rainfall patterns have changed, frequency of occurrence of extreme weather events and things like that have all, have all changed. But as one that I said today that up to today, I've not seen it anywhere. And I, like I said, I think it's original to me. And that is the fact that um, one of the impacts of climate change is that farmers now become confused as a result of no pattern. You can't really uh, come out and say rains will start here and end here anymore. That's, that's not uh, about uh, that's, uh, farmer confusion. Uh, sometimes the rains start when they should start and stop when they... What, happens last, what happened last year is not what is happening this year. Uh, like I said, when you talk of issue of climate change, you know, you, uh, that is environmental ethics. You are talk of anthropocentric and uh, anthropocentric and biocentric. Uh, but the situation we have found ourselves in this country is that uh, the interest of the ruling class is, is not just there. Because you know Nigeria uh, is not a, a country that is cohesive. And uh, no matter policy that you bring in uh, to ameliorate this problem, there are those that are prepared to sab sab uh, sabotage the country. And in my, when I was contributing, I made them to know that the present structure of Nigeria, no matter the well-intentioned policy that government will bring in, it will not actually succeed and have said so. 
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.